he's a it's your boy ron i hope y'all are having a great morning but um this video i want to address this youtube guy his name is kevin samuels um he's just you know he's a high class guy you know he gives people advice and all that but i just don't like the type of advice he gives people especially women so this woman called into his show or whatever and she was just like you know i'm dead i've been dating this guy for six months i'm not giving up you know i'm not giving up the vagina you know i have a kid out of wedlock blah 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 and he went on to tell her why are you holding back on the vagina let's just start there bro. what what do you think when you hear this cousin so i don't know yet to be honest fam is it bro fam bro if a man if a man says that to a fucking cat what what is the problem in that bro why would you make a guy wait that long when for all you've had a kid out of wedlock and you're a single mum now you split with the father of your child you're doing your thing but you're gonna make this nigga wait three months do you think he's gonna stick around but in fact no, let's, 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 let's say he does stick around. You really think he's going to go with no pussy for three months? You, you, you're doing before you're starting. You make him have a fucking mistress before he even gets with you. You already have a kid out of wedlock. You already gave it up. So why are you, why are you being stingy with it? Is there anything wrong? Why are you being stingy with it? Why? Why are you being stingy with it? Like, come on, bro. You, you're giving it up. You're probably giving it up to a bare man. And then there's, there's this one guy. And this nigga's actually taking you on dates. Niggas don't go on dates, bro. But this nigga's taking you on dates. So what are you going to do now? You're going to do the three-month rule. You're going to do the three-month rule. And think what? It's going to be all rosy. And I'm just like... You're basically telling this woman... Her value has decreased because she has had a child. Yes, her value has decreased. Same way as if you lose your job, your value has decreased because you end up can't paying your bills. Same way as you lose something that you love in your life. What happens, fam? You get depressed. You get down in the dumps. It's all about the comeback. But yes, there's certain things in life that brings down your value. And if you, that fucking upsets you, then mate, you're not built for real life. Because let me tell you something about life, huh? Life is not fair. It's not. It's not. It wasn't made to be perfect and it wasn't made to win. So if you're going to go in life, yeah, make the right choices. And if you are in a mad predicament that you feel, you know what, the odds is against you, be fucking logical. Stop shooting for the stars, mate. Try fucking climb a ladder. That's what the fuck you saying, man. Out of wedlock. You're telling her her values has went down, so now she needs to give up the vagina. And I Bro, you know how I many niggas come out of jail for them and they can't get jobs? You know why? Because their value went down for them. Look at your fucking fake bed, bro. Yeah. I'm thinking, basically, what kind of advice is that to give a woman? Especially a... Marks, what, what, what advice should you give the woman? I don't know, to be honest. I, I don't even what, know. That. I don't know. What, what, what advice would you give a woman that calls you yeah, and says, you know what? I want someone that earns 100 bags a year. I've been single for five to 10 years. I've got three kids with two guys. And I'm not. I'm seeming not to find these guys. What would you tell, what would you tell the woman? And I say it's not that deep. I'll tell her, focus on your kids. Black woman. You're basically telling her that she's not worth anything anymore because she has a child by a guy that she's not married to. Then he went on to say, well, does the, the guy you, you had a child with making 10K a month, is he a high value male? She's like, no, he's not making 10K a month. Well, he's not a high value male. Yeah, you wouldn't. If you make 10K a month, I'm pretty sure that will make you high value. Yeah. I don't see the problem in that. So the amount of money you make makes you a high value male? Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't get me wrong. As a man, you should always strive to increase your salary every year. But to say that just because you don't make 10K a month doesn't make you a high value male? See, it's funny because men like this are hilarious. Everything is money, 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 money. Power, 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 power. Like, what else is it about? <laughs> what else is it about, bro? 
like control, control, control. And you can see that. You can see that with him. He's all about control. He's all about power. And a high value male, you're not a high value male based off of the amount of money you make. You're a high value male when you know how to treat women, when you handle your responsibility, when you have a career, you know, when you... Well, that's what normal people do, bro. This That's normal shit. It don't make you high value because you fucking treat your mom right and have a job, my nigga. Know how to <laughs> uplift people. You motivate people to be better. You don't tear people down because of their past. That's not a high value male. Talking to a woman, making her feel like crap because of her past decisions or making people feel like they're less than because you make more than them. That's not a high value man. That's not. In my opinion, it's not. A high value male to me is someone who keeps God first. Someone who lives off of godly principles. Not someone who comes up with their own principles and they come from a worldly viewpoint. I feel like that's kind of where this man comes from. And it's just this is just my opinion. And I really wanted to speak to you all. And let me say this, man. It's, it's kind of crazy. You know, he has over 95,000 followers. And the advice he gives people, I'm like, there's so many people listening to what this guy is saying. And I'm here to tell you, if you're a woman right now and you have... I have to come back. I have to give you some high value shit. Let me take it back a bit. That's not a high value male talking to a woman, making her feel like crap because of her past decisions. Or when did he work with oh, this is this is what I don't like. Yeah, so see when people talk like this, yeah, they don't take things in context, and this is fucking. I think this is something in society, yeah, that people are suffering with the lack of comprehension. Not taking things in context is fucking dangerous, man. Someone will say, I'm going to the shop. And then another man will take that as I'm going out. No, nigga, he's going to the shop, bro. Comprehend what the fuck he's saying. If he's going out, he'll be back later. But people don't do that, bro. People will hear one word or get a feeling from it and be like, oh, you know what? A man is saying this and a man is saying that. People need to stop taking things out of context. He's not fucking telling, making women feel bad. Bro. He's not going out of his way to do it. He's coming from his opinion. For all you know, what he says ain't true. So if that's the case, it's his opinion. The only reason why he's catching flat is because people agree with it. Why don't you be one of the people that just don't agree with it and shut your mouth first? But don't go out to see he's out there making women feel bad, bro. But if you're, if you're an average woman paying a fucking mortgage, and everything you own is on finance and credit, bro, and then you expect to get a fucking six-figure earner, bro. A six-figure earner, bro. Come on, now. That's not logical. We need to stop getting that mentality off our women. This is why there's a lot of craziness going on in our black communities, because... People are not comprehending things and not putting things in context and letting everyone get away with everything. It's like, no, bro, hold men accountable, hold women accountable. Can't be just like, oh, the men are shitting on these women. Yo, these women need to stop picking these men. Like, stop picking these men. Stop getting yourself in these situations. Real talk. Because niggas is going to fuck. You can't tell niggas not to fuck. Or making people feel like they're less than because you make more than them. That's not a high value man. He doesn't do that. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. It's not once that niggas made me feel down, bro. If anything, he made me realize that shit, this shit I need to do, bro. How can another man make you feel down when he's not directly talking to you? The fuck, bro? How is that possible? When did he ever tell you yeah, that he's better than you? When has he ever said that he's better than anyone? You need to stop doing that. People need to stop catching feelings of a man's words and just hear them as words. Real talk. Look at I could tell you're an emotional nigga. You're the type of nigga, yeah, that will want one of these women that call into Kevin's show and then you will end up with the same fucking story. Them leaving you or cheating on you over some bullshit. 
I know you go above and beyond for your woman. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because me, I do the fucking same for mine. I die for mine. But at the end of the day, yeah, if a woman out here is shooting her sights way too high and not being reasonable, it has to be addressed. Same way as your bed looking flat, but you just... Like the sack I'm missing, bro. You got the alpha male bed from, but your whole swag's beta blood. That's not. In my opinion, it's not. A high value male to me is someone who keeps God first. Someone who lives off of godly principles. Not someone who comes up. No. I said, you're more describing a righteous man. A righteous man doesn't believe in value. A righteous man doesn't even do what you're doing. We're all into worldly possessions to a certain extent. You ain't a fucking car doing a live, my brother. What the fuck, bro? Come on, bro. Without that car, you probably couldn't do it in your house because your mum would be singing too loud. With their own principles, and they come from a worldly you didn't viewpoint. You see that man singing? You thought that was his mum? Fucking driving Who by watching. Comes up with their own, own principles, car, and they ass. come from a worldly shit, viewpoint. Man. I feel like that's kind of where this man comes from. And it's just, this is just my opinion. And I really wanted to speak to you all. And let me say this, man. It's, it's kind of crazy. You know, he has over 95,000 followers. And the advice he gives people, I'm like, there's so many people listening to what this guy. What advice would you give these women? I would really love to know. A woman calls you up, man. Yeah? She's got two kids. She's fucking 29. And she's telling you she wants a high value man. A man that earns six figures. What would your advice be to her? Oh yeah, everything's gonna be alright. Don't worry, you're gonna, you're gonna get a trillion there, baby. You're gonna get. Come on, man. You some simple ass nigga, man. You simping for these chicks, bro. Allow it, cuz. Uh, bro, men need to start standing up and awakening, bro. You get me? It's women's rights on everything to the point where women feel no way to just break up with a man. Uh, come on, man. Most of these breakups and divorces is from women, man. The fuck? You look like you've been through it for yourself. I'm saying, and I'm here to tell you, if you a woman right now and you have a kid out of wedlock, your value is still high. Still treat yourself well. Do not make people make you feel like your value has decreased because of your past decisions. You are still valuable. Walk around. You are missing the whole point. No one's saying the women with kids are not worth a damn. No one said that, but you know what goes down in value? Their choices, their decision making. When you sit down and actually hear their life story of what you've been through, when you hear it, it's something no man wants to be a part of. It's just the truth. Same way as they will hear something from you that rubs them the wrong way and they don't want no parts of it. Everyone makes mistakes. That's life. But just because you're a woman, fam, don't think the world is owed to you. Don't think it's all about you. Know that, yes, you can be looked at the same way as a man can be looked at. Just because I'll be a single guy with no kids and a decent job earning my way, that don't mean I need to bow down to this woman with three kids. Me personally, I wouldn't even want to get into a serious relationship with someone with three kids. You understand? And that's my personal preference. That, that, that doesn't mean I should die for that. You understand? That don't mean I'm wrong for that. That don't mean I hate women for that. All that means is I don't want to take on another man's burden. It's not for the same way as there's women out there that don't like fat guys. There's women out there that don't like ugly guys. There's women out there that don't like broke guys. There's women out there that don't like guys. You know what I'm saying? Guys, that ain't got no fucking materialistic shit to them. Same shit that you're saying that don't make a man value, valuable. When all these women chase valuable, earthly, materialistic stuff. What the fuck? What woman out here wants to fucking live with praises and hope? Come on, bro. Around like you're valuable. Walk with your head up high. Yeah, so what if you had a kid out of wedlock? The next guy you meet, make him wait. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. You still have value, queen. You know what I'm saying? And if that man doesn't... Yeah. When you meet him, don't give it up to him for three years. Don't get... You know what I'm saying? He's got, he's got that get pussy there. He's cool with it. 
He's cool with it. He at me. He's cool with it. So, ladies, ladies with more than one kid. If you wanna, if you want a man, go for this guy. He's the one. He's the one for you. He's the one you should be looking for. And I bet you any money, this guy here would not even fucking be in a relationship with a woman with kids. See your value, and he thinks, oh, because you have a kid, you gotta give up the punani. Leave him, leave him, cause there's men out there that will. He never said give up the punani because you got a kid. He said, don't make them wait. Don't play games. Know what you want. First of all, you shouldn't even be meeting the guy and giving up the punani if you know he's not on marriage material. Yet. If he's not on settling down and marry with you. Why the fuck are you gonna make him wait three months to not even know what the fuck this guy's on and what you're on? Kevin preaches for you to even go on a date with a guy, you must know his intentions. So that way you don't wait three months. You fuck him on the first date. I respect you no matter what. No matter what. If you wanna wait, I don't care if you got 30 kids before marriage. If you meet somebody and you bro. Bro, he, he's, bro, is this, is this guy, but he don't care if she got 30 kids. I'm going to pull that up, bro. No matter what, if you want to wait, I don't care. There that will respect you no matter what. No matter what, if you want to wait, I don't care if you got 30 kids before marriage. If you meet somebody and you be like, look, the way I was doing things. Any woman that has 30 kids and she's not married or with the person or with the persons that gave her 30 kids, that's a woman you stay away from. I don't even think social services would even let that run. <laughs> Before it didn't work, I'm going to make this man wait. If he don't want to wait, next. You still are valued. Your values. Ladies, if you listen to guys like this, you'll be hurt forever. You'll be hurt forever. You'll literally set your sights too high. And the, and the man that God has out there for you, you will never meet him. You will never meet him. You will never meet him. I'm telling you. Women, especially to the one that he was talking about with 30 kids. Let me tell you something. If you've got 30 kids, no man in your life. You need to raise them 30 kids. Hi. Don't let anybody make you think your values are low, man. And when I listen to that, I just really wish I could reach out to that young lady and tell her, look, you are valuable. Uh, man, Treat your I'm done with this guy, man. This, <laughs> this guy, man, he uses no alpha male energy whatsoever. This guy is a walking contradiction. And this guy just, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm telling you, this guy is probably a guy with a girl. He's got his own family. He probably don't even wife. He, he's, I bet you money, the woman he's in a relationship now, because I see a baby seat in the back here. I bet you money, that's his kid. He's not raising no one's kid, unless it's your mom's car right now. For me, yeah, in fact. But, I don't know, let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys, because for me, I think when people come like this on Kevin Samuels, they, they're just not built for the message. They're not built for the message. They, these, these type of people, are the, are the type of people that tell everyone they're going to win. And sometimes you have to let everyone know that. Or not everyone. Sometimes you have to let certain people know that. It's not that you're not going to win, but in order for you to win, you need to go another route. This ain't it. Sometimes it's not for wrong telling someone this ain't it. You're going about this the wrong way. And that's all Kevin's saying. And that's what I'm saying. But... Yo, my guy here, Ray, I, I give you a bit top 10 ratings. I want a bit like that still. Like, I think you was a bit soft in your message and that. But obviously, when you see this video, like, hit me up, man. I hope I didn't even bring no disrespect to your way, innit? You get what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? If, if I did and you feel that way, fuck it, innit? But, I, I know I spoke to you on the man, but I know I didn't threaten your family or nothing. But, I do feel like you are simping and you're coming mad soft on this, innit? But, that's just my thoughts and opinion. Everyone out there, let me know what you feel on Kevin Samuels. Is this nigga just bumping the black community? Is Kevin Samuels a fool? That's what we want to know. But like, share, subscribe, and I'm fucking out.